what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. Yo, this is Deontay DeBron from the Wild, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb squad, baby. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at TheHellblaze.com. 100% all-natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella sent you. Get 18% off. We out. All right, man. Here we go, man. Appreciate everybody for coming. I don't know why my, my thing keep moving. There we go. It's the air or whatever. But um, here, yeah, Deontay Wilder, hey, learned his lesson, says skills don't pay the bills. A couple of the quotes. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, check the hitway box playlist. Now, I'm picking Fury to win. I thought last week was fight week, so we have a lot of day. Be prepared for a lot of day. And um, prediction video already up. I did it last week, but um, but don't forget you can reach me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We got business question, quiet response, video quest. All my social media links in the description. Appreciate the love, and support. So. Uh, let's get to it, man. Don't forget, check out the playlists, man. We got Earth, Darn, Earth, Darn, share the video. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Hold on, let's share that real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, I'll show y'all something real quick. I was watching Deontay Waters' interview with Brian Custer. Okay, and uh, hold on. Hit this thing a little. I want to show y'all something. Hit this thing right here. All right, you got bell icon right next to the subscribe button. You can personalize it, all right? Whatever the hell that just hit all, just hit all. I'm hitting all on the last damn podcast with uh Brian Cut. Just go ahead and hit all of them so I can make sure I get my, my notification gang gang. All right, so make sure I hit all of them and fuck personalized man because I don't a lot of people saying they not getting get the notifications. This, that, and the third. So let's make sure we increase our chances on you getting the notifications on the uh, when I go live or when I drop a video. This, that, and the third, too. So make sure you guys. Get the 411 on that. So, um, so Deontay Wilder quote, when you have skill, he did an interview with BT Sports pretty good. He talked about his daughter and stuff. He said, quote, when you have devastating power, you're always going to be the leader of the pack. Some say skills, skills, uh, but that's a broken record. We've seen many guys with skills and they, they still lost. Who have power, you never out of a fight. So at the end of the day, people saying that, you know, he ain't learned this lesson from the last fight. Um, Whatever, you know, he ain't learned his lesson from the last fight. He ain't did this, he ain't did that. Blah, say, blah, blah, say, blah, blah, say, blah. But um, power don't win a fight. A lot of great power punchers have lost. George Foreman, Julian Jackson has lost. So, like I said before, man, he trying to trying to make being awkward and unskilled um, a trained in boxing. You, you're an anomaly. I mean, you are very, very, very rare anomaly. You are a blip. We may never see this again in boxing. We may never see this in our lifetime. So, like I said before, man, skills ain't a broken record. That's the reason why motherfuckers are seven, six, five years old. When you be 17, 18, they say it's too late to box. It's a reason for that. It's a reason. It's a reason for that. You know, it's a reason why, you know, they start young. You got to have some type of skill set, but he defy that. He defies that. People hate it because they can't understand it, not just because it's his color. I think that goes into the pot as well. But people hate it because it's something they ain't seen before. A lot of these quote unquote boxing peers, they can't understand how you're doing, especially some of the boxers. You know, people say, Man, how's he doing this? How's he doing this? You know, but he's been blessed with it with a gift. Think about it. Maybe he never if he never tried boxing. He would have had a gift that, that went unutilized, that went, you know, unused. So, like I said before, man, um, you know, I mean, he right. When you got power, you're not right to fight. And maybe he's saying you got skills, this is a broken record. You know, maybe it is. It means a broken record, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know, man. But people saying he ain't learned as, as, as uh, his uh his lesson 
as far as saying all I need is, you know, 10, 20, 30 seconds to be to be great. You need the whole fight. And you found that guy. You found that guy that answered that bell who could take your best shot, get off and, and, and diffuse your right hand. You think he'd be a little bit more humble. But he he found that guy. And, Ty, and I, I thought Tyson Fury was the only guy that really can actually beat him. You know, just thought he had to, to stop. Okay, but he did go on. Hold on. He did go on water on Tyson Fury, even on my worst night, his best night. He still couldn't get me out of there. People uh, try to label it as a knockout, but that's not a knockout. That's a stop. That's a stop. It's because of a weak individual on my team who threw the towel. So. A weak individual. So we call him the, one of the, the greatest amateur in most people's opinion. The greatest amateur in the United States in most people's opinion. A weak individual. You man, did, did y'all niggas see that fight? Did, did we not see that fight, bro? Did, did, we, did we not see that fight? How is a weak individual saving your life? If Tyson Fury has some of the other gloves. Every time this shit is brought up, it pisses me off. Every time he bring it up, man, it make you not want to root for that nigga, man. He the first one crying black power, all that shit, man. And then he sit there, man, and this nigga was looking like this. Hold on. He talking about weak individual. Nigga, look, have you seen yourself in the second fight? Look at you. Look at you. Look like Whippy Goldberg with, with play blood coming out your mouth. Look at this nigga talking about a oh, weak individual. Fuck you mean a weak individual? Niggas, if Tyson Fury says has something in your gloves and that weak individual poisoned you, Right, and your costume was too heavy. Look how you looking, nigga. You look like a a, a a a a bloody a bloody steak. But you're talking about a weak individual. You the one that said Tyson Fury has something in his glove. You the one that said somebody poisoned your drink. So he wasn't trying to save your life, man. Like I said before, man, with these niggas, man. Y'all, you know, they can they can um. Y'all y'all can say what y'all want to say, right? We can all say what we want to say, right? But this nigga still mad at Mark Breeder now. It's rumors, and I say it's rumors. It's rumors that uh, him and Mark Breeder been beefing, and people been trying been beefing way before, but before that, that you know that you know Wilder been wanting to get rid of him, and people at PBC been trying to you know um, smooth our relationship. Mark Breeder should just left. Mark Breland to the left because that white boy in the corner, he don't do shit. And he the one that made up the costume excuse. Let's be real. He the one that came out had the costume excuse. He said, well, the white guy get an ear for it. You know why the white guy get an ear for it? Because he got a lifetime contract. That nigga was the ops. He was the judge. He was the one throwing niggas in Alabama in jail for forever. You know what I'm saying? He was a judge. He got he got the police on this team. He talking about uh Mark Breland uh, is, what do you just say? Mark Breland is... uh. A weak individual. Man, I, mean, I, I know Mark Breland wish he would have back in time and let this nigga just die in that ring. Let this white boy just pound his ass where he wouldn't even be able to 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 compete in a rematch. Bro, I don't care what nobody say. Everybody want to play that Wilder black car shit, but Wilder threw a nigga under the bus. Threw a proud black man, the greatest amateur in the United States history. He threw him under the bus. But then nobody talk about that. Everybody, come on, everybody know damn well. Breathing in poison no water. That white boy just got down on you. And he get down on you again. I'm a clown wilder ass. If he if he if he if he I mean if he lose, he lose. Okay. He lose like a regular fight, or you know, he he loses a disputed decision. Cool. But if he go in there and that white boy do him again, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a whole video, a whole stream on uh, I'm a man shit. I'm I'm a uh un I'm a not gonna mind I'm gonna do it the cool mode deep. How you like me now? Because nigga, Mark Breeden don't have a track record for doing shit like that. What about the white boy who looked at the Tyson Fury gloves being wrapped? I'm giving y'all like a little bit of prequel to what y'all getting tonight. What about the white boy, his gloves get wrapping your gloves, nigga? Watching Tyson Fury get his gloves wrapped. He get an ear for it. He the one that started the excuse for for um he the one that started the excuse for um he the one that started the excuse for um for the costume, right? He don't do nothing but put water and say, you do it, get out of here, man. But no, none, none of them niggas on the cross the street want to talk about a black man not firing a white man, though. Him or Shelly Finkel. Remember, Shelly Finkel, the one who brought Mark Breland in. None of them across the street want to talk about that. 
None of them across the street want to talk about that, bro. None of them, none of them LDBC niggas don't know want to talk about how he how he threw a black man on the bus but didn't get rid of JD ass. I understand they said he got a lifetime contract with JD, ass, but shit like that just make you want to lose. But the the black the black uh, investigators at the LDBC don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about that. If it wasn't for Mark Breland throwing that fucking tile in, you know, if it wasn't for Breland throwing that tile in, nigga, you wouldn't be you wouldn't even be able to. To, to to prepare for a fucking rematch. Look at his ear. He won't prepare. So, so to me, that's hypocrisy. You saying for one, you saying for one, right? Uh, he poisoned you, right? Okay. He's saying he you, he poisoned you. Cool. He poisoned you, right? But then on the other hand, on the other hand. You maxed through the tile and you was poisoned. And Fury had something in his glove. Come on, come on, y'all believe in this this malarkey, bro? If you believe this, man, but everybody want to always try to. Everybody always want to try to make this a uh, all, the the niggas on the the, the pro black the fake pro black crew. And I'm not just talking about LDBC. It's some it's some solid dudes over. There. I'm just talking about the fake pro black crew. Uh, in general, they always want to poke and, and try to turn some a, a situation that's not race into race, right? They always trying to poke and turn something. But right here, you got a black man who fired the greatest United States amateur in history, and a lot of people's opinion. He fired that man. He fired that man, and still ain't provided proof how Mark Breland spiked his water. Come on, ain't none of these niggas asking for JD has to be fired. Come on, get out of here. Come on. I know these jokers asked for Mark B. I mean, JD has to be fired. Come on, man. This man came in and beat your ass. That's what happened. Well, you know how, how did he uh, develop power? I think it's a heavyweight division. If you look at the first fight, when Tyson Fury walked towards Deontay Wilder, he didn't know what to do. He just applied that principle for, for, for a full fight or however last the fight, however... The fight last, and then y'all ain't talking about how stupid this Bama is. They treat him like a Bama, an old Southern Alabama nigga that don't know what one plus one is. This nigga gave Tyson Fury 50 50 in the first two fights, and the winner of the second fight got 60 40 for the trilogy. Come on, man. And he better prove if, if he lose, and nobody care about what proof you got Tyson Fury cheated. When he win, he better provide proof. He better provide proof. I don't care what none of y'all say. If he lose, I don't want to hear it. Honestly, I don't care if he got a smoking gun. A weak individual, man, get out of here, man. You still got white zaddy in your corner, man. I ain't trying to hear that, bro. All these fake pro black niggas who who, who was married and messing with white women, secretly eating pork. I don't I don't care what they got to say. Then he went on to say, Deontay Wilder and Fury calling him the most dangerous heavyweight out there. Well, will. I've already knocked him out once before. I'm sure he replays that in his head over and over again. That's why he's so brave uh, to say I'm the most dangerous I am in this true facts. Like I said before, man, like he hasn't accepted his loss. You did knock him out. The count is at the discretion of the referee. If the referee wanted to go, I seen Lucian Bute get a 50 count, nigga. Damn near it. It's at the discretion of the referee. If you want to go one Mississippi, two Alabama, three Arkansas, four Delaware. If he want to just count like that, he can. That wasn't no nah. I seen Arthur McKinney take the towel and throw it back into Yuri Foreman's corner. I seen that before. So him going and saying, you know, uh, they, they cheat. I ain't cheat you, nigga. That white man got off the canvas and whooped you. And he whooped you. were so arrogant, bro. Water was so arrogant because he need to hear this shit. I, I don't care. He need to hear this shit. Water was so arrogant, bro, that they knew it was an issue with Tyson Fury gloves. The first fight, they knew it was an issue with Tyson Fury gloves. The first fight, but you know what? They were so naive. He believed that he knocked them out. And he went in the second fight thinking he was gonna land the right hand. He landed two good right hands. And Fury ate them bitches and he beat his ass. Let's just be. Let's call it what it is. You did not knock out Tyson Fury. You know, you did not knock out Tyson Fury. No matter whatever, whatever you believe, you did not 
knock out Tyson Fury. No, no, no. You did not knock out Tyson Fury. You did not. You know, and that's why he can't accept that he lost like a real man. No, Wilder and Joshua defeat the Usyk. I wasn't surprised at all. I wasn't at all. Styles make fights. And with Joshua, he just had his number. I think he's going to have his number even more on the second time. I was like, okay, whatever. As people say about Andy Ruiz. Um, and Usyk on Wilder Fury says, I will definitely watch. I don't think too much about who wins. It'll be a good fight. Don't write Deontay Wilder off since he always has knockout punch. So... Usyk just trying to get that smoke. Usyk just trying to get that smoke, bro. So that is what it is, man. Uh, I can say what y'all want to say. Usyk might beat all these cats. I hope he do, man, for honesty, man. Because Wilder, man, that shit just pissed me off, man. Appreciate y'all. Check out the Heavyweight Box Playlist. Share the video, subscribe channel, all my social media subscription. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal, link description. That's what to donate. Share the video, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook group. If you want to advertise your channel, video questions, chop it up, whatever it may be. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.